So it occurred to me today that for a feature that I use every single day, I know surprisingly little about Emacs incremental search mode, otherwise known as iSearch. I mean, I know that I, hit, I can hit Control S and I can start typing letters and it will gradually home in on the thing that I'm looking for. And I can hit Control S again and it will search for the next inch instance and the next instance and so on. But um, that's about it. I mean, I know how to search in reverse with Control R, a few other things. But other than that, I don't use very many advanced features of this. And um, one issue that I run into a lot is I'll be going through a file like this where the, the thing that I'm searching for is actually used as a prefix on a lot of words. And so I'll just get a gazillion results. And maybe what I really want to see is places where it's used just by itself. Uh, not as a prefix. So like right here, it's used as part of another identifier. Um, well, it turns out there are all these little toggles that you can toggle while in incremental search mode. One of them is word mode. So if I hit Alt S, W, it flips this into word mode. And now when I hit Control S to search again or Control R to search backwards, you'll notice that I'm no longer seeing the, um, I'm no longer getting results for these ones where it's part of a camel-cased word. I'm only seeing instances where the word notify is either by itself or um, separated by at least an underscore. But maybe I, would, I don't even want to see the instances where it's separated by an underscore but still part of a whole identifier. Maybe I want to see it uh, only instances where it's just alone separated by white space. Um, so I can actually toggle that too. I can hit Alt S and then underscore. So what that toggles on is symbol mode. And that says I only want to see the word by itself. I don't want to see it as part of another symbol, even separated by underscores or dashes. And it turns out that this file does not have any instances of the word notify uh, as part just by itself. It's always part of another uh, symbol. So um, maybe not the best demonstration. But um, anyway, yeah, uh, there are a bunch of other features, but I'm certainly not going to go through all of them today. Uh, but today I learned about uh, switching on word mode and switching on symbol mode while in incremental search. And uh, now I'm making this video so that I'll remember it. And I hope it helps you too. Bye.